project uh, that has been originated by the Rotary Club of the Bridgewaters. Um, we have some members of the Rotary Club here today that will share with you a little bit about the Rotary Club and some of the things that they do, and also talk about the essays that were written, which I've already been informed are very impressive. Um, this is a project that takes place in a couple of the area towns, and from what I understand, the caliber and the quality of the essays that you guys have written are some of the best. So I'm really proud of you guys, and that says a lot about you all as students, as well as your teachers, providing you the opportunity uh, to get some direction on your essays and to have some time to work on those. It's an important project that we like to include at the end of the school year, and I'm glad that so many people participated in it. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Janet Dye from the Rotary Club of the Bridgewater. <laughs> This morning, we have um, a few Rotarians here from our group one is sitting right back there taking pictures, and these pictures are going to be on filming on cable TV on your local cable TV. <laughs> So he knows all about it, which is really nice to have him as part of our group. I also want to thank the sponsors for the essay contest. Solana Spree has given one of the um, um, certificates for, for uh, your essay, and Skinner's Sugar House and Prisco's Mini Golf. Um, and they will go to the essay prize winners, which we will inform you about later. But first, I want to introduce again Mr. Lee, and he's going to tell you a little bit about what Rotary International does all over the world, and he's only going to touch on a couple of topics. We have a lot of things going on around the world. Thank you, Janet. How's everyone doing this morning? Very good. Well, two of the things that we're doing around the world are uh, clean water and shelter box. What we mean by clean water is every morning you get up, you take a shower, you maybe get a drink of water from your faucet, and then you might use your toilet, go to the bathroom a little, right? Well, imagine if you didn't have any of that. So we're helping people around the world get clean water and have good sanitation so they don't get sick. Um, so just like you, they want to be healthy and have good tasting water and be very clean. So we've been helping over 20 million people around the world. That's more than the state of New York. Just think about that, how many people. And we're hoping to have the whole world have clean water by the year 2030. In 13 years, you could actually help out with this when you get a little bit older. So that's great. And also, we're working with uh, the international group uh, Shelter Box, which delivers not only food and water for people, but water cleaning facilities, uh, a shelter, in addition to this shelter, it has things that people don't think of that you need after a flood or earthquake or hurricane. Things like pots and pans, beds, the tent, uh, educational material, toys for the kids so you have something to do all day long. Because remember, if your house is wiped out, there's nothing left. So these people need a lot of help. Uh, it comes in a little box that they all that we get shipped overseas, and they expand up into a large shelter. It's called Shelter Box. It's one of our initiatives. Okay, thank you. And now, and now Mrs. Jeffries is going to tell you a little bit more about Rotary. Rotary, 
uh, is a, a service organization in every country in the world. So imagine you could just circle around the globe and everywhere you go, there are people doing service projects. You heard about two of them. There are hundreds and hundreds. I've worked more on literacy and particularly with adults in countries where they were not allowed to go to school because of the skin color or because of the way they believed or because of their location or sometimes because they were a girl, they were prohibited from education. So that's been my project um, and many, many others working on the same thing. Thank you. fine organization and if you ever want to get involved in it there are um, interact um, clubs for uh, uh, young people in high school and there's a rotaract group of young people who work at the, at the college level and beyond like in their 20s and, and uh, early 30s so think about it all right so I'm going to I'm in charge of presenting the prizes for the essays but before I do that, as, as Mr. Gentile mentioned, I was, we, there were just so many good ideas, it was really hard to choose who to give these, the prizes to, because you, many, many, many of you really gave a lot of thought to this, and many of you are doing good deeds. And I noticed, as I walked in this morning, that you, you know, this school has had an ongoing good deed since March, and that's when you bring things in to, for, um, it's called, what's it called, comfort? Comfort fire? Comfort kit, um, and and help families who, who need things that can't afford to buy them, or they're you know some of the um, children that benefit are foster children who are in, away from their original families. So I, I just think that's wonderful to start at this level, at third grade, and probably even younger than this, to um, help other people in the world less fortunate than, than you are. So some of the essays that we didn't win uh, select but we're really, really good. One second grader uh, wrote about the blanket project, uh, um, giving blankets to kids that are in the hospital. Someone else wrote about letting their hair grow long so that they could make wigs for cancer patients, had a cut and use for that. Someone else uh, would talked about, many people talked about feeding the homeless um, and handing out baskets in the city park and the donations, uh, to food pantry, which and of course foster care you do, and toys and clothing. And I know this school has also done back, a backpack thing in the past where you've, you've gotten backpacks together for children who can't have, don't have backpacks to come to school with. Um, and one of the per people said in the essay says they like working in teams and um, this person said, when I work hard and my community works as a team, we accomplish some amazing things. And that is so true. Um, someone else uh, helped fix a church steeple and someone else used a GoFundMe to raise money to help someone who needed extensive medical care. Now, you can see just from those ideas how difficult it was to choose who the top prizes were going to go to. We have three of them. So, the first third place prize was a person from Mrs. Curry's classroom. She picked up uh, trash around her neighborhood and then she, re she separated the trash so she um, switched out the cans that could be recycled and uh, took them for, to get, you know, to recycle them and get money and then the family, her family used this money to prepare lunch bags filled with water, sandwiches and cookies um, and they headed into Boston and they gave these, these lunch bags full of good things um, to people who were homeless on the street. I just think that's fantastic. And that's Ella Lang. Come on up, Ella. Uh, has a uh, gift certificate to Crisco's Pine Grove for a minute. All right, so our second place where um, um, served at, at a local food pantry, and early on Saturday morning she would go and uh, serve 300 people. 
She said in her essay, everyone needs food to work and to go to school. If you don't have a good breakfast, it's really hard to, to do what you need to do. Making a difference in, uh, she made a difference in the community by showing them that I respected and cared for them. Create, she created a chain reaction. This is something that we thought was really great because that's what it's all about. If we have many, many people helping others, it makes a much bigger difference than if just one does so we can spread the word. And she said a chain reaction is when you do something good for someone and then they do something good for someone else. So second place winner is from Mrs. Sullivan's class, Julia Donahue Wilson. which is in your, um, it'll be in the, in the front of your dictionaries, and it was also on the prompt that we gave you about is it the truth, is it fair to all concerned, does it build goodwill and better friendship, and is it beneficial to all concerned, that's the four-way test, which I think all of us live by, it's not just a Berkeley kind of thing. And uh, he explained how he helped kids with autism calm down in karate class. Michael Lee, come on up. <laughs> down here, but in the front of the dictionary is a, a, a plaque that has um, the four -way, Rotary's four-way test. Oh, look at that, Mr. Gentile. He must be a runner. You think he's a runner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know he is. He's a runner. He's a runner. Well, All right, so this is, um, this is a student dictionary. I love the cover that they've come up with now. Isn't that great? Picture of the, of the world. And um, in the very front of it, there is a uh, name, a place to put your name at, with the Rotary four-way test. And there's also a letter to your parents in here, so be sure that you take these home and, and show your parents. And I hope you use these. You know, these dictionaries are a little different this year. We got, or I decided, to buy ones that have all kinds of interesting information in the back, like, like the states of the United States and their capital and how big they are, how many people they have, and it's got uh, um, past presidents, and it's got some of the um, Constitution in it. It's just, it just is full of, it's got the Declaration of Independence. So I hope you'll use these and I hope you'll think about keeping them all through your school, even though I know we have a lot of electronics that we use for information now. There's a lot of good stuff right in here. So um, be sure when you get back to your room with these that you put your name right away in the front. The teachers will do that because they're all the same. <laughs> okay, so. We will have our picture taken and then we'll distribute pictures in one minute. As Mrs. Dine mentioned, everyone will be getting a dictionary. Okay, we have them here. What we're going to do is we're going to deliver them to the classroom so that before the end of the day, you'll get them, you'll have them. When you go home today, you can bring them home, share them with your parents, share the letter that's inside the dictionary so that they know uh, where they came from and what it's all about. Um, and again, thank you to the teachers and to all the students for participating in this uh, great activity that we've made a part of our uh, yearly sort of end of the year activities. So once again, how about one last round of applause for our winners and for our guests today.